Hi everyone, in today's video we are making crepes perfect for savory dishes or a sweet desserts coming right up. Hi everyone, I'm Amy, welcome back to my kitchen and today we're making crepes. It's a super versatile, thin pancake that you can fill with sweet fillings or savory fillings, just pretty much goes with everything. So let's get started. In here I have two cups of milk, it can be 1%, whole milk, doesn't matter. I have two cups of milk and I highly recommend using a blender. You want to get a really smooth batter without any lumps. These are so thin that any lumps are going to show in your little pancake or crepe. So I recommend using a blender. We're going to add two cups of milk to the blender. And then I'm going to crack five eggs. When I'm done making these, I'm going to show you my absolute favorite way to eat these. They're so good. There's my five eggs, and I will add those as well. And I'm also gonna show you how to do this without a special crepe maker or crepe tools. I'm gonna to show you how to do it in a saucepan. It's really quite easy. And then, let me check my recipe, a quarter of a cup of oil. Canola or vegetable oil works just fine. And then in here I have a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. Now before I add the flour, I'm gonna blend this really well. Doesn't take too long. Once that's blended, I'm gonna go ahead and add one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And then blend again. Now the flour likes to kind of stick along the edges a little bit, so I'm just gonna get a spatula and scrape it down one time. And then blend one more time. There, that's perfect. Okay, now we are ready to cook these. All right, now I'm over here at my stovetop and I just have a basic skillet here. It's, uh, what is that, eight inch skillet and it's been heating on medium heat and I'm going to wanna use cooking spray between each of the crepes because you're going to need to flip them and you don't want them to stick. So I'm gonna give this just a light spray and then I'm just gonna, straight from my blender, I'm gonna pour a little bit and I'm just gonna gently kind of roll it around out to the edges a little bit. Just depends on how big you want your crepes. And it's only gonna take 20 to 30 seconds on each side. You can kind of tell it's finished when it starts to look dry around the outside. And you should be able to easily kind of pick it up and flip it over. Does not take long. Flip. I might have done that one too soon. I always have to have a test one in the beginning. This will be my test. And now I know to go just a little bit longer. But it's just barely, it's got some golden patches on each side and then you'll know it's finished. And I'm gonna have a plate ready. Cause I'm just gonna flip it out onto my plate. I love my Mickey Mouse plate. Let's check this. But that's the perfect consistency. You don't see any lumps. All right, well, let's try another one. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I just wanna make sure I have my heat on medium. So uh, my numbers are go from one to 10, I'm on a five right here. I don't know how your ovens do different temperature settings, but just medium heat works great. Be very careful doing this with kids. Pan is hot. Flip it over. Oh, perfect. That one's beautiful. All right. Let's make a couple more. Don't forget to spray in between. I'm getting the hang of this. Let's go a little bit bigger on this one. If you feel like they're cooking too fast, turn your heat down. If you feel like it's taking forever, turn it up a little bit. Every stovetop and oven is different. Yeah, you don't have to flip it with your fingers like I did. You can just ease your spatula under there and, and flip them. 
whatever works best for you. Okay, let's head back over here. Okay, now I'm going to show you the right way to fill a crepe. Just kidding, actually, there's many, many ways to fill a crepe, but my favorite way I'm gonna show you right now, but just some examples, you can fill them with some scrambled eggs, sausage, bacon, and cheese to make like a breakfast crepe. You could fill them with some turkey and Swiss melted to make like a little sandwich wrap, but I'm gonna show you my favorite way. There's really lots and lots of possibilities. First, we get some Nutella and spread it along. I'm going to slice up some strawberries. These I've already washed and dried. I'm just gonna kind of spread them out. And same thing with banana. We'll get a little bit of banana and slice. Some banana slices. Now the ultimate dessert, my kids love this, is they'll get some vanilla ice cream and put it on top there. I'm just gonna go a little bit lighter and spray some whipping cream on here. And then we're just going to roll it up. And you can sprinkle a few more strawberries on if you want. Bananas and more whipped cream just to make it look pretty. And we are ready to give this a taste. I'm going right for the middle here. Mm, mm, mm. That is so, so good. So give this one a try. Experiment with some different fillings and let me know what you think, let me know what you like. And if you would like to see more recipes just like this one, make sure you subscribe to my channel. See you next time.